Hello folks, this is Loki Fish Mars, and I want to talk a little bit about flat earth navigation and using a sextant. But let's hear it from flat earth navigator expert himself, Nathan Oakley. Cool. Circle of equal altitude, that's what I think you mean. That would be flat then, that's flat. And to make the measurements with your flat triangle with its flat bottom, it's got to be flat to do that. Do you understand that? Because that's something you seem to have an issue with, saying it couldn't be done on a flat Earth. And yet it seems, as pointed out seven times by me, that it could only be done on a flat Earth. Do you understand that? This could only be done on a flat Earth. So let's agree on something, just to start off. This is how you use a section to triangulate your location. It's just you know, basic. The elevation of Polaris above the horizon is always equal to the observer's latitude. We say it can only be done on a globe. You say it can only be done on a flat Earth. Let's test that out. Here we're going to start in, in Laric, Scotland, and we're going to plot a course. We're going to need our initial triangulation, which is right here. And we're going to go to Portsmouth. Uh, according to distance to, the distance is 646 miles. Now, if you notice on the right hand side, we have latitude for both locations. So, there's our, using our initial reference, there's our calculation for Polaris. Or Portsmouth. Let's compare the two. Well, according to this, that's 934 miles. So where does that put me? Oh, it puts me in France. Not good. Well, let's try to reverse that course. We're going to start from Portsmouth and go to Lyric. Again, Portsmouth is our initial reference point. We then calculate for Larrick, compare the two. That's 843 miles. Hold on a second. Where am I going to end up now? Oh, great. I'm in the middle of the North Atlantic. North Atlantic. Wonderful. Well, maybe it just doesn't work on in, in England, yeah, in Great Britain. Let's try this in the US. We're going to start in North Dakota. There's our initial reference triangulation. And we're going to go to Corpus Christi, Texas. Well, that says it's 1,463 miles. Well, let's calculate for Corpus Christi using our initial reference. Okay, that's not looking good. Oh. Well, wow, that's actually really bad. Um, so where's this going to put me? Uh, okay, so you miss Texas. You go through the Gulf of Mexico, through Mexico, and down to the equator. Um, hmm. So what's the conclusion here? Either all maps and sextants are lies, or sextants work just fine if you're on a globe, but not on a flat Earth. And while this is not my image, I did check it. It is to scale. So Nathan, uh, how exactly do you use a sextant on flat Earth when you get totally wrong distances from north to south? And by the way, if you try to do this east to west, it gets even worse. Well, folks, I'm Loki Fish Mars. If you'd like to see more content, like, share, and subscribe. Until then, the Earth's not flat.